Hi everyone, my name is Patricia Bertin and I work for the Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation, known as Embrapa. Uh, and today I'm going to present Embrapa's efforts to improve agricultural research data management. And I do so in partnership with my colleagues, Carla Macario and Deborah Jerker from Embrapa Agricultural Informatics in Campinas, Sao Paulo. Well, uh, I would like to start by saying a few words about Embrapa. Uh, we were created in 1973 as a public research and development organization under the edge of the Ministry of Agriculture. And nowadays, Embrapa has 43 different research units distributed across uh, the Brazilian territory. And we like to introduce ourselves as a technological innovation enterprise focused on generating knowledge and technology for Brazilian and global agriculture. Um, well, I think it's impo important to say that the whole research data management environment at Embrapa is very heterogeneous and complex. Uh, we have many different cultures of knowledge production within the, the organization. And so we have different practices of research data management as well. Uh, so, um, for example, we have different platforms such as CX to store and organize experimental data. We have GeoInfo for geospatial data, uh, Alelo for genetic resources uh, data, and so on. And just last year, Embrapa had its um, data information knowledge governance policy published. Um, it's available online, though not in English yet. Um, but the objective of this document uh, is to strengthen the mechanisms of data information and knowledge management at the organization. It's composed of 17 principles and 42 guidelines, which I cannot uh, explore sufficiently today. Uh, but I would just like to summarize by saying that the whole content of the policy is based on the fair notion the fair principles uh, notion. So uh, just to exemplify, um, um, we have the interoperability principle and the access to information and data principle and so on. Um, also, we have a very complex situation because we are an enterprise, we are a public enterprise. So um, at the same time that we look to support public policies by disseminating open data, we uh, look to monetize data too. So uh, the company promotes the use of research data to increase revenue as well. And the overall rule uh, is that data should be as open as possible and as close as necessary. And this is in line with Brazilian law of access to information. Now, with regards to technology, uh, we have been um, working with DSpace, the platform DSpace for a while now, and we even had it running in one of our research units. But then recently, uh, looking uh, for a platform that would uh, deal better with uh, all the requirements that we had for research data management, including the assignment of persistent um, digital object identifiers, we decided to move to data for Dataverse, a different platform um, to build Embrapa's research data repository. So we are now uh, designing and implementing Agdados, uh, which is going to be Embrapa's research data repository based on Dataverse. And we are very proud that data produced by Embrapa and preserved at Embrapa Agricultural Informatics is already being harvested by uh, FAPESP, by the Sao Paulo Research Foundation uh, Metadata Aggregator. And uh, so Embrapa's data is already being exposed at, at this interface. Um, but most importantly, and, and this is my final uh, slide, uh, we are looking to implement 
what we call a research data governance program. So we don't uh, focus only on the technological aspects or the policy issues or even the technological infrastructure that's necessary uh, for research data management, but we are looking uh, to implement a whole set of services and um, infrastructure and um, all kinds of solutions to support research data management at the organization. So we started by mapping the current research data management practices all over the, the, the organization. Um, we are trying to develop a typology for agricultural research data uh, to better understand uh, the out outputs of Embrapa's research projects. Uh, we are uh, looking to develop further um, agrothermos, which is the Embrapa's controlled vocabulary, and uh, we are structuring and implementing data management plans, um, which are going to be uh, used in all research calls by Embrapa itself. Um, and of course, we are offering services to assign persistent data identifiers. So uh, uh, with this slide, I end my presentation and I just would like to reinforce that a holistic approach is necessary when we are dealing with uh, research data management at a large and complex organization such as Embrapa. And this is what we are doing right now. Uh, thank you very much.